Welcome to the Raised with Jesus podcast, 10 minutes every day with the life of Jesus meets yours. We've got your Sunday preview for the fourth Sunday in Lent, looking at Luke chapter 15. Luke chapter 15, verses 1 through 3, and then beginning in verse 11. All the tax collectors and sinners were coming to Jesus to hear him, but the Pharisees and the experts in the law were complaining. This man welcomes sinners and eats with them. He told them this parable. Verse 11. Jesus said, A certain man had two sons. The younger of them said to his father, Father, give me my share of the estate. So he divided his property between them. Not many days later, the younger son gathered together all that he had and traveled to a distant country. There he wasted his wealth with reckless living. After he had spent everything... There was a severe famine in that country, and he began to be in need. He went out and hired himself out to one of the citizens of that country, who sent him into his field to feed pigs. He would have liked to fill his stomach with the carob pods that the pigs were eating, but no one gave him anything. When he came to his senses, he said, How many of my father's hired servants have more than enough bread, and I am dying from hunger? I will get up, go to my father, and tell him, Father, I have sinned against heaven and in your sight. I am no longer worthy to be called your son. Make me like one of your hired servants. He got up and went to his father. While he was still far away, his father saw him and was filled with compassion. He ran, hugged his son, and kissed him. The son said to him, Father, I have sinned against heaven and in your sight. I am no longer worthy to be called your son. But the father said to his servants, Quick, Bring out the best robe, and put it on him. Put a ring on his finger, and sandals on his feet. Bring a fattened calf, and kill it. Let us eat, and celebrate. Because this son of mine was dead, and is alive again, he was lost, and is found. Then they began to celebrate. The older son was in the field. As he approached the house, he heard music and dancing. He called one of the servants, and asked what was going on. The servant told him, Your brother is here. Your father killed the fattened calf, because he has received him back safe and sound. The older brother was angry, and refused to go in. His father came out, and began to plead with him. He answered his father, Look, these many years I have been serving you, and I never disobeyed your command, but you never gave me even a young goat, so that I could celebrate with my friends. But when this son of yours arrived after wasting your property with prostitutes, you killed the fattened calf for him. The father said to him, Son, you are always with me, and all that I have is yours. But it was fitting to celebrate and be glad, because this brother of yours was dead and is alive again. He was lost and is found. This is the word of our God. The readings this Sunday focus on the idea of the cycle of sin. We sin, (laughs) things get difficult. We plead for mercy, God is merciful. Things get better. We fall back into the same sin. Things get more difficult. We plead for mercy. God is merciful. Things get better. And so it goes. The cycle of sin, guilt, repentance, and faith. Why is the Christian life so difficult? And so Jesus directs our attention to the prodigal son, the son who has spent everything without without any restraint. He has been prodigal. And the greatest comfort for the repentant heart is the full and free forgiveness, the love and welcome from the Father. Even though our sin should separate us from the family of God, he welcomes us back into the family with the full rights of sons. To the self-righteous, this seems foolish, even offensive. But for the loving Father, this is cause for celebration. We've got Sunday morning worship at 9 a.m. at 2250 South Hollands Vania Road in Maumee. And we also have it available on YouTube. Just search for Resurrection Maumee. God bless your day.